Good morning. I'll call to order our special meeting of the Zoning and Planning Committee. Today is August 16th, 2017. This is an adjourned meeting from last Thursday's uh, regular scheduled meeting. I'm Lisa Bender. I chair the committee and we have a quorum with Council Members Reich, Andrew Johnson, and Council President Johnson. Today we have five items on the consent agenda. Item number one is an alley vacation at 3118 and 3138 Snelling Avenue. Uh, item number two is a rezoning for the Beacon Interfaith Housing Collaborative Project at 813 North 5th Street. Item number three is a rezoning at 3816 Ewing Avenue South to allow for an existing non-conforming duplex to become in a conforming use. Item number four is a future land use map amendment um, brought forward by the City of Minneapolis Finance and Property Services on University Avenue Northeast. Um, changing from urban and neighborhood designation to transitional industrial designation. And item number five is referring to staff an ordinance amendment for the regulation of parking garages. I will move items one, three, four, and five uh, and just allow for some of the folks who came for item number two to speak in just a moment about that project. Is there any discussion on the four items I've moved? Seeing none, all in approval, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That carries. So for item number two, we had some folks come last week who've come back again, and we just wanted to invite them to say a few words about this really special project, if you'd like, and just please come up and state your name and address for the record. Good morning, uh, Chair Bender and Council Members. I'm Lee Blanz. I'm the Executive Director of Beacon Interfaith Housing Collaborative. We appreciate you giving us a time to just come and thank you so much. We've really been grateful for the support of the Council uh, and as this has moved uh, through the planning and land use uh, approval process as well. Uh, Great River Landing will be a home for 72 people uh, and we're so pleased that you've welcomed us both with uh, the action we uh, hope that you're about to take as well as the funding that you've provided along with other partners in our community and we hope to be able to break ground uh, uh, later this year or early next year. Um, I have with uh, uh, me uh, the CEO of Better Futures, Thomas Adams, and uh, Reverend Doug Mitchell from Westminster Presbyterian Church. Good morning, um, Chair and Council Members. My name is Thomas Adams. Um, I want to take just a moment to say thank you. Um, in these trying times, you know, courage and bravery show up in the unlikeliest of people, in the unlikeliest of situations. And um, this is a courageous thing. Um, you know, we all, many people will denounce racism. They will say we should help the homeless and the people with um, uh, criminal backgrounds should be given a second chance. Yet when asked to do something, very little gets done. And the uh, committee here has um, provided an opportunity for many men who are often rendered invisible in our society. And in particular, Council Members Fry and and Yang, Blong, um, Blong Yang have welcomed us to their communities, their area, and the city council here has embraced us and given us support from day one. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the hundreds of men that we serve and the thousands of individuals in the state of Minnesota who also have some challenging backgrounds and just want a place to stay. So thank you. Good morning. I'm Doug Mitchell at 4945 17th Avenue South, Minneapolis. Um, I want to speak for members of the two congregations who have been the primary relationship with Beacon on this project, Westminster Presbyterian and Plymouth Congregational. Uh, this is uh, a point of a long-term partnership that's uh, created more than 350 units of affordable housing, the majority of which are supportive housing. We are congregations for whom the pursuit of justice is fundamental to who we are as worshiping communities. Um, our traditions lead us to say, uh, how can we love God and love neighbor? And with that guidance, we have come to you often for support, uh, for funding, for changes uh, that are needed, and for that cooperation uh, from council and from its committees, we give you thanks, not only uh, for this occasion, but for the long-term commitment that this council has showed uh, to care for those at the margins uh, in the area of housing. So thank you. Thank you again for the time. And I did just want to make sure that, that I mentioned our thanks to the North Loop Neighborhood Association for their support as well. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. And if you spoke, if you could sign in with the clerk, that will help her with our record for today. So I will move this item number two. Is there any discussion? Council President? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and I'm happy to support this today. You know, I, I think uh, this um, development that you're doing uh, continues uh, really great work um, in transforming that neighborhood. Um, you know, it's uh, it was a very, very neglected part of the city for a very long time. I, I will tell you, it's like my my quiet route home um, to North Minneapolis. I go down Fifth all the time, uh, just because it's less congested. But it's less congested because it was really kind of uh, abandoned neighborhood for a very, very long time. And you know, the ballpark and some of the other development that's happened around there has, I think, awakened people to see you know, what a really uh, potentially great part of the city uh, that that part uh, is. And, you know, I mean, it's it bisected by freeways and ramps and all that sort of thing. So uh, it can be challenging. But to see the transformation that's going on in that neighborhood is really, really great to see. And uh, I think it'll just be a great part of uh, that, that change going on and building back a part of our city. I think if you looked at the city's history, that would have been a neighborhood um, that was probably home to immigrants early on you know, in our city's history, and then a lot of the stuff around there has been demolished and, and redeveloped or left kind of fallow for junkyard usage, that kind of thing um, that, that's gone on down there. But this is just another uh, piece, I think, in, in the changes that have gone on in that North Loop neighborhood. And so I'm glad the neighborhood's supporting you. And I think it's, it's, it is important to be able to act on, you know, what, what you believe in and this is this is a, a a great place also I think you know for potential for people for jobs um, you know for uh, the people that will live in that um, in that uh, building um, the access to the Southwest Light Rail to downtown Minneapolis uh, it'll it'll be a big big plus so thank you and congratulations and we'll watch it move forward. All right, thank you. I'll just note that we've been joined by Councilmember Yang, who is one of the council members for this area. Uh, any other discussion? Just want to thank you all so much again for your leadership and all of the work you do in our community. The projects that you've built in the past have become, I think, models for what happens when community comes together to support each other. And I think we're just all very happy on the City Council to follow your lead and help ha support however we can the work that you're doing. So with that, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, there, so that item carries. It's our last item, and we are adjourned. Thank you.